nine tools right here in the toolbar. And the first tool is going to be the sketch tool. Very simple as it kind of as it uh, as it states. You're going to point and click to start the line and just drag it out and click to end the line. Click, drag, end. Now if you want a perfectly horizontal or perfectly uh, vertical line, you can click this horizontal vertical or constrain to either horizontal or vertical very useful. I use that quite a bit. So the next tool in the line uh, on the line toolbar is going to be the coordinate line. So with the coordinate line uh, we can select where we want the start point, where we want the end point. So right now you see this orange line right here and we can move uh, the start point is at zero x and 0 y the endpoint is at 0 is at 1 x and 0 y so if we if we set end y to 1 we're basically going to move this point up to here so let's do that and set it to 1 and you see it move up so we can move uh, end x out to oh say Okay. Now if we wanted to connect another line to that, we could uh, start at set our start point at x2, our end point, or our start point, uh, start x at 2, start y at 1, our end x at, say, and our end y at say 3. Click OK. Okay, maybe kind of a cumbersome way to draw a line, but or to draw a series of lines, but uh, if you know your exact coordinates, uh, it can be, can be reasonably helpful. Okay, the next tool in the lineup is going to be the join line. Now, this is really useful. Uh, the join is going to let you uh, draw a line between two points or between two endpoints uh, online. So we'll, use, we'll click on the join tool, and there's nothing over here to enter. Uh, we're going to click on a line. In fact, we'll click on this one here. You see the red point show up? We'll click on this one over here, and it draws a line. You can click on this one. It'll draw a line to there. It'll draw a line to there there to there anywhere it'll draw a line from point to point and there's no gap there that's a closed contour very important when you're drawing that you create closed contours uh, sheet cam does not like open contours okay so the next tool is going to be the tangent tool now the tangent tool allows you to draw lines tangent to circles okay so we we uh, select that, and we can go tangent from one circle to another, like this. Okay, or we can go tangent from a point. I'm going to shift click uh, to get an end point. We're going to go from this point okay, up to tangent to that circle. Okay, we'll go again that point. We can go tangent to this side, tangent to that side. The tangent tool is going to create a line tangent to a circle or a tangent between two circles. Okay, the next tool is the parallel tool. Very useful tool here. Uh, the parallel tool, you're going to enter, let's say we wanted a line uh, parallel to this line say three quarters of an inch to the left. We're going to enter 0.75. We come over here, we click this line, 
and it's going to create that line uh, three quarters of an inch. I'll just drag it to whichever side I want. Now the next tool is going to be the angle tool. Okay, so the angle tool um, has a number of functions to it. So this is where you're going to enter your angle right here. And we'll enter the length of the line. We'll call it maybe three inches. Uh, we'll say 45. Now we'll leave it at 30 degrees. Now we have an uh, angle relative to entity highlighted. So what we're going to do is just roll over an entity. When we roll over that entity, it's going to create that angle, a 30 degree angle relative to the entity that we're that we've uh, rolled over. So we have a 30 degree there, we have a 30 degree there. Now if I tell it to go absolute, looks the same here, but now look what happens here. It's an absolute angle relative to not the entity, but it's absolute relative to the x-axis, which is always your zero angle there. Uh, the tangent function allows you to create uh, an angle uh, or a line uh, tangent to a circle. And that would be 30 degrees tangent to that circle. Okay. If I change that to, say, uh, 45 degrees, is doing it is we have it set to tangent so it is creating it's creating that at a 45 degree angle relative to this zero line next tool is the chamfer tool. So the uh, chamfer tool basically is going to let you put a chamfer uh, on a corner like between here and here. Okay, so this is the most common. We're going to enter an angle. We're going to enter a distance. We click one line. We click another line. And it creates that chamfer for us. Okay, click one click another, creates a chamfer. Now I can go angle and distance two. Uh, not a whole lot of difference between that and distance one. Distance one and distance two gets rid of the angle, allows you to enter a distance for here and a distance for here. Uh, angle and distance one is by far the most common. The next tool is going to be your continuous tool. What that allows you to do is draw a continuous line. And I'm just clicking as I go. Now see that the end of that lights up. If I'm very careful, it'll snap to the end of that line. If I want to, however, remember I can hit shift, click, and it will highlight those endpoints. This next one is that's it. We have a closed contour right there. That pretty much covers the line tool, and we'll see you in the next video.